Hello, this is 8-Bit Rach and welcome to another Amstrad game review. Today I'm going to have a go on a game called Pop-Up and this is a request by Old Style Gaming on YouTube. So let's get that started. This is an infogram game. Oh god, that was a bit loud. In my, he my headphones anyway. Okay, I'm pressing 1. Why is it not doing anything? Right, okay. So, this was released in 88 or 89 originally, and I believe it was called Bumpy. And then it was all set to be released on the 16-bit systems. And then Infogram released it in 1990 again on the Amstrad, so I'm not quite sure. That's a bit of a backstory behind it. Don't know why they did that, but they did. Now, this is played on Yellowbelly's stream. Um, he does like an A to Z of obscure Amstrad games, you know, in, in the hope of finding some hidden gems. So here we go, wear that little ball at the top and we basically have to collect the items and then get through the portal, which will appear when you've collected enough items. Oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong keys then. So using the cursor keys. Now, this was a game. It was declared the hidden gem, I believe. Everyone loved it. But you know what? I wasn't keen. And I don't know why, because, you know, looking at the game, it looks good. It's an interesting concept. I like the backgrounds are nicely done. You know what I mean? The controls are good. It's easy to play. You know, and when you're like a bouncing ball, it's the controls can be a bit sketchy, to be honest. But no, these are fine. It just... I don't know. It didn't capture my imagination, I've got to be honest. But I was the only one. Everyone else seemed to like it, so... Um, one thing I don't like about it is... There doesn't seem a lot of logic to what you have to do. I mean, for example, on this level, I know that I have to... Oh, fucking... I've done it wrong already. Right, so... Oh, right, no, I haven't. Okay. So, where I knocked into that post, you have to knock into that to be able to go over. And... Oh. Oh. Ah. Do you know what? I'm starting to get something here now. Right, okay. Um, I've just had a moment of realisation. That's what I've... Anyway. Right, okay. So what I was saying earlier was... You have to knock into this post. But if you knock into any of the other posts... You can't escape then when you go over this way. Oh, like I've done now, I've bollocksed it up. So you see there? That's it, you're stuck there. So, pressing S will start the level again. But I had a little moment of realisation where normally I've been able to jump on those flames at the bottom. But I forgot to collect that little raindrop. So you must have to collect certain items to pass. And you can see there I had one drop. And it's disappeared when I've landed on them flames. So now this game's making a bit of sense. So collect this. I normally collect it just, you know, to get the points. It's never occurred to me. Right. You can see there the portal's open. Go through there. Now, this level is oh, it's a fucking nightmare. i got no idea what I'm supposed to do. Because that platform I'm on in the bottom left, it disappears every time you jump on it, but I can't seem to do anything to get off it. See what I mean? But of course now I'm thinking, do I perhaps need to... Have I not collected something in previous levels? 
So let's have a look. I'm sure I've collected everything. But I think that's one thing I don't like about this game. First and second levels are alright once you know what you're doing. But then the third level, there just seems to be a big sort of step in difficulty. And that aggravates me in a game because it's like, well, you know, you do expect it to get more difficult. Obviously you do, but it's just like that big step up where level three seems impossible. I wonder if... I don't know why it'll make a difference going through that way. So... Right, so you need the lightning to be able to get through that. So you kind of have to have a lock. See? Right. I think now, after playing this game a couple of times, I've actually... I'm starting to get a realisation that it's a bit of a puzzler. And it's sort of made the game more interesting to me now, actually. Um. And that's why, if you hit the other posts, you can't then get out at the bottom because you've run out of the object you need. Right, I'm... Okay, that's fine. It's nothing to do with... Right, I'm all over this now. I'm all over it with cheese on toast. I still have actually no idea about getting through this level, though. Um, so I've got some lightnings. Oh, bugger. But do you see what I mean? There seems no way to sort of... Hmm. You have to knock it three times for it to disappear. But there's no way you can't even bounce on that platform enough times to get, a, you know, to get some height to get over the top. I'll have one more go. See if I get a flash of inspiration. So basically, just collect everything. So you must... Right, okay. that way. Right. So... then I don't need to... Right, okay. But see, I'm mystified. I still... I can't work out. Because you've got to knock into it at least three times to make it disappear. But the platform... Hmm... You can't seem to bounce in between those gaps. 
but it looks like you need to go over the top because you need to collect the lightning bolts. See what I mean? Um. No, I'm buggered. No. There's obviously something that's just escaping me here. I'll just turn that off for the music. Um. Yeah. I mean, like I said, this game, it looks good. It's... The background, it's it's nicely drawn and everything, do you know what I mean? The background looks great. It does get very blue feeling after a while, although I do believe it changes the background every five levels, I think. But I mean, I can't get past level three, so I'll never see those other backgrounds. Um, yeah, it looks good. It moves really well for, a, you know, a bouncing ball game. They can, Like I said, they can be a bit dodgy. The controls it could be quite difficult to manoeuvre but no this is perfectly fine and like i said i didn't like this game i was the only one who didn't like it but i just couldn't warm to it i am starting to like it a little bit more now that i've realized there is a bit of logic and puzzle to it you know, the certain... Although I did kind of guess certain objects, you know, they must... I, I sort of knew you had to collect them for a reason, but I just couldn't really figure out what. Um. So, yeah, I like it better than I did. Is it a game I'll go back to again and again? It it probably isn't, if I'm honest. Um. Yeah, one thing that puts me off is... That third level, it just seems massively more difficult than the last one. And that puts me off, because if it's a game that's not really, you know, drawing you in to start with, you're not really that bothered about finding out how how to, prog to progress, do you know what I mean? So, um, so would I recommend this game? Do you know, I think I would, based on the fact that I was the only person who didn't like it. There's a good chance other people might like it. And it, it's worth a go. Um, you know, it, it is very playable. I, I just think it's not my kind of thing. And there's nothing that... I don't think the game's shit or anything like that. It's just not my sort of thing. It just doesn't appeal to me and I can't really figure out exactly what it is that doesn't appeal to me. So yeah, I would say give it a go. Um, do you know what? If you do give it a go and you work out how to get past that third bastard level, I would be really interested to know. And when I find out, I will go back and play this game again. <laughs> but yeah, I think on that note, I will leave this review here. So. Thanks, Old Style Gaming, for recommending this. Um, take care and thank you for watching. See you all soon. Try and out.